still hasn't really hit them. Yeah, uh, I'm probably along with you. I think the, the one thing that I kind of cherished of this whole thing was getting two days off uh, from our last game. And I, you can see everybody had that little extra jump in their step in the sense that um, we just we need a little bit of rest. And uh, it's been a phenomenal ride that's still going for us. And I could tell the guys are excited. But it was, I think it was good for guys to get away and, and come back. And uh, tomorrow is really when we will kick in and, and um, start really planning for um, our opponent because uh, it, was, it was just good to get a couple days off and have a little fun on the ice today. Coach, the guys talk about playing for each other. Uh, how much stronger would you say that their bond with each other, how much stronger would you say it was than at the beginning of the playoffs? Uh, well, c clearly we're a different team now than we were in training camp. and. Uh, you, you think about last year and a lot of the things that we went through from the injuries to the trades to the injuries again and the transformation we went through this summer and, and we had a lot of new bodies, new minds uh, in our room and it's, it's been an unreal journey to watch 23 different souls, I guess, come together as one now in June. And, it's extremely gratifying for myself and our coaching staff to watch the way these guys have come together, and uh, it's a pretty, pretty darn close group that's in there right now. You talked after the Ranger game one, you guys seemed maybe a bit nervous at that game. How do you avoid being that kind of nervous in game one? Well, it, it, it's with every series we've learned a little bit more about each other, and we've learned a little bit more about how to get through this, and. Um, give the Rangers credit in that game one, they came out and, and beat us. But we, as a group, we just didn't feel we were ready for that game. I think we were still hanging on to the Montreal series. We were hanging on to the fact that we were in the conference final. And I think I used the line before, uh, you know, we, we came to play in a game, the Rangers came to win a game. And that's the mentality we have to have going into this series, especially with the team we're playing. Uh, we don't. There's not enough games to take one off. Who? With Stammer? Uh, I don't. I don't know if it was the, wor the word "surprise" to use. Um, I think the word uh, "gratifying," understanding that he had to make some sacrifices, in the sense of. You know, there's for us to win, and he he did everything, and he's put him he's put the team in front of himself on every occasion on this run, as everybody has, and that's why we're here. But the the player that's got the spotlight on him the most, and to watch him, uh, I guess, not have the success that everybody expects him to have all the time, and to fight through that, and to do what he's doing for us now. And the way he's handled all that, and the pressure, and, and the media, it says a, a ton about what that kid's all about. When Strowman got here, did you know that he and Hedman or did have a feeling they were going to hit it off as well as they have in form? Well, as good a duo? we'd hoped, yeah. and uh, it's they're God, what a pair of those two are together, and, and uh, especially they're both from the same country and, and all that background and stuff. But you hope when you bring somebody in and, and somebody we committed to for long term that okay this is how we envision this pair being for years to come and it's worked out and probably to your point better than we ever thought. Have you thought about your second year touch and what that all <laughs> no. entails? Uh, ask me that question in the middle of June not in the start of June. <laughs> Well, if that, if people are saying that, then that's a really good compliment for us, uh, because I think you look at them and and what is this? Their third cup appearance in six years. So if we're being compared to that, and we can somehow garner up that much success in the next few years, it's we're pretty happy about that. You used the term young and dumb earlier about this club. <laughs> Young the team, dumb me. So let's <laughs> put it that way. Okay, that's what that meant. The, uh, getting 
game one is game one at home more of maybe a distraction than being on the road or is it better well we've uh it's it's tough because i don't know have we have we won a game road game one in the playoffs yet yeah, but that was on the road. That was there. That was there. Yeah. yeah so we. Well, last year. So yeah, it's, it's we've won series in different ways. We've started at home, started on the road. Um, I think there's probably a group of players on each team that say they'd like to start on the road, and there's probably groups of players that would like to start at home. Uh, I think if you win game one at home, you're it's awesome that you started at home. If you don't, you know, there's pressure that's put on you. Uh, we haven't put a whole ton of stock in where we start or where we play. Um, and you sit there and say, well, you, you get the home ice because of game seven. Well, we didn't have game seven in the last series and we found a way. So uh, any opportunity you get to play in your fans, I think, especially for them who've come and followed us and supported us all year, the more opportunities we can play in front of them, I think it's just a, it's a bonus for all of us. Uh, because we've really, we've really have an attachment with our fans now, and uh, they got you know, the group, the sticks of fire, and, and people that are surrounding our team and jumping on board. Well, we want to be a part of them. We want to share that with them. So the more home games, the better. But in saying that, it, it's it's not sitting or saying, oh well, the home team's guaranteed to win this series. There's no way. I think uh, th these are two teams that have earned their way here, and wouldn't care if we had to play neutral site games to to get this to get through this and. Um, but in saying all that, I'm glad we've got a chance to play four times at home and, and uh, show our fans how much we appreciate them.